and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back and watching and clicking this video because before I begin, I just want to quickly apologize for my absence. I hmm, have not filmed a video on, in what seems to be maybe three or four months. I just kind of took a break and um, now I am back. And if you guys are curious, I apologize for my crazy dog. If you guys are wondering what I'm wearing on my lips, it is Urban Decay Venom. Venom. Ooh. So that's that. Yes, so again, I apologize for not filming a video. My dog is crazy. Um, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please take the time to subscribe down below or up top or wherever, um, just so that way you guys can be notified for future videos um, and you guys can stay tuned, I guess. And then also, if you love these types of videos, hauls, things like that, um, definitely give this video a thumbs up if you like it or enjoy it. So let's go ahead and carry on with my haul. These off the shoulder tops are super cute, don't get me wrong, but they're also super, super annoying because they keep going up. I don't even know. So anyways, the first thing that I'm gonna pull out in my haul is this right here. This is a lip cheat reshape and resize lip liner by Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I got it in the color, what is this? Foxy Brown, which is this color. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'll do a close up and I'll do a swatch of it too. So it's this color right in here. I was actually looking for more of a brown based lip liner to go with the lipstick that I also picked up from Charlotte Tilbury. So I'll show you guys um, what that lipstick is. Okay, so the next thing I picked up is the lipstick. This is also by Charlotte Tilbury and it's the Matte Revolution Luminous Modern Matte Long Lasting Lipstick in the color Birkin Brown. So the name in itself is pretty awesome and really, really gorgeous. I mean, look at this really beautiful packaging. Um, and this is the lipstick right here, a super rich chocolatey color. It looked absolutely gorgeous on. I actually tried it on in store and I fell in love with it. So that's the swatch right there. Absolutely beautiful, especially if you're looking for more of a brown lipstick. Um, I'd say it's more of a uh, more of a soft kind of a matte. It's not too flat, but um, needless to say, really, really pretty. So I'm super excited to try this. Okay, so the next thing I'm about to haul, I'm super, super excited about this one because I've heard so many good things about this product and a lot of people talk about it. So me and my friend Sarah picked it up and I'm super, super excited to try this. So it is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow Face Sculpt and Highlight by Charlotte Tilbury. And the packaging, look at this, super cute. There's a little sleeve and then there's the compact. So this is it right here. This is actually the bronzer and then the, the highlight on one side. It's very, very soft. It's not um, super stark or super opaque, but yeah, it gives such a soft um, contour or soft glow to the skin. He actually tried it on my skin and I actually really liked it. So I'm excited to try that. Look how beautiful that is. Compact is really nice too. I don't know if you can see the bronze part, but that's the bronze part and that's the highlight part. And you can really, really see the highlight. Look how pretty that is. The bronze part is a little bit light, but it's just, it's a really soft, 
um, bronzy tone to the skin. Okay, so this is actually a replenishment pickup. I absolutely love this foundation. I have been wearing it for the last six months since I think January, and I am obsessed with it, and it's the Light Wonder Youth Boosting Perfect Skin Foundation. I actually have a full product review on this. If you guys wanna check it out, I'll link that video down below. Definitely check it out because this is absolutely one of my most favorite foundations at the current moment, and, um, I was completely out of it, so I decided to pick it up. I have it in the color 7 Medium, which looks just like this. And if you've never tried Charlotte Tilbury, definitely go to a counter. I know that in the greater Los Angeles area, um, there is a full um, Charlotte Tilbury counter inside the Nordstrom at the Grove. All right, so the next thing I picked up from the Charlotte Tilbury counter is actually their Air airbrush flawless finish powder this is basically just a skin perfecting micro powder um, powder and it's more so as a sheer kind of a translucent setting powder if you will but this is the packaging super super amazing and just absolutely beautiful I don't know if it's like rose gold I think it is kind of a rose gold packaging but it's just super super pretty and then there's a mirror and then the powder right here. So there's actually only three colors of this powder. There's a um, one, two, and three, I want to say. And I ended up getting the two medium because the guy at the Charlotte Tilbury said that the three would be way too dark. It's more for like deeper, darker skin tones. And two caters to more um, kind of medium to like medium to dark skin tones, if that makes any sense. So I'm super excited to try this because I've heard really good things about this powder and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so moving right along, the next thing I picked up from the Charlotte Tilbury counter is the Retoucher, which is a conceal and perfect um, type of concealer. I got it in the color 3 medium, which looks just like this. It's very, very similar to, I want to say, maybe YSL Touche Clot or all of those concealers that come in a push or twist. This is what it looks like right here. I got Again, I got it in the color 3 Medium. Oh my gosh, there it goes. Do you guys see that? So here's a, a swatch of this on my hand. So that is it right there. It's super, super smooth. I don't know if you guys can see that. I actually like how that feels and it's just really velvety. That's it right there. Super excited to try that. I definitely will let you guys know how it works out. All right, so moving right along, the next thing I picked up from Nordstrom is this mascara right here. This is by Giorgio Armani, and it's one of their newest mascaras. And I know that they're they're well known for their um, eyes to kill, eyes to kill mascara, eyes to kill sounds weird. Anyways, I heard that that mascara is like amazing. A lot of people talk about it and I actually have never tried that. But when I went to the counter, um, the gal had recommended the Instant High Volume and Definition Mascara and it's called Eccentrico in Obsidian Black. But if you guys are curious to see what this looks like. And supposedly she said that this is a new mascara. So looks like this it's got a red top kind of an oblong shaped but I mean it's really interesting and she said that it's compared to the Chanel La Volume um, de La Volume de Chanel um, but it's not as clumpy is what she said or it doesn't flake or something like that but I don't know if that's necessarily true because I have not tried this but I'm curious and I'll definitely let you guys know and these two products are actually from Tom Ford um, I've never tried anything from the Tom Ford line so I'm super excited to try this 
So the lipstick that I picked up, it's in the um, lip color in the color Casablanca. And this is their beautiful, oops, I just kissed my thumb. Hello. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look how amazing this is. Okay. This is what it looks like. And I'll do a swatch for you guys. And that's the swatch. But this is absolutely gorgeous. This is my first ever Tom Ford lipstick. So I'm super excited to even try this out. Killer packaging. The sun is rapidly going down. So if it gets super dark in here, sorry. Okay, so the last thing that I picked up from Nordstrom is this right here. Oh, it's backwards. This right here. This is also by Tom Ford and it is an eyeshadow or eye color quad in the color 03 Coco Mirage. So the eyeshadow palette comes with a dust bag. I never really get why it comes with a dust bag, but I guess when you're buying a luxury cosmetics brand, you get a little extra. So this is what it looks like right here. I was telling my friend Sarah that it almost looks like a cell phone. So hey, hey Tom Ford. Yeah, you ready for lunch? Great. <laughs> but anyways, um, so yeah, that's what it looks like right there. There is actually... I'm super excited just because these days I don't really wear too much eyeshadow. I just do maybe one or two shades of shadow and mascara and I literally, literally call it a day. So um, as a matter of fact today I just have NARS eyeshadow and then I just popped on some lashes and that's it. Keep it simple folks, keep it simple. But yeah, so this is definitely Something that I will grab and gravitate because I feel like the colors are super wearable and super gorgeous. If you guys want me to swatch them, I totally will. I just don't even want to touch them. They're like butter. So those are the colors. So if you're looking for more neutral browns, um, more matte um, than shimmer, then you definitely want to check out this, this eyeshadow palette. All right, guys, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. That completes my entire beauty haul from Nordstrom. I hope you guys found some inspiration to go out and get some of these things. Um, I'm super excited to try some of these things because these are new products that I've never tried before. So super, super excited. If you guys have any questions regarding the haul, definitely let me know in the comments. And again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so that way you guys can be notified for future and new videos. And then also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a good thumbs up. And yeah, that is it. Um, yeah, so that's it. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.